Hi guys, my name's Lainey and welcome to my channel. I am going to briefly take you through the much anticipated season two of the Nikki Blackheader range. Unfortunately, I don't have all the items from the range, but I am going to take you through the items that I do have, through the detailing, the fabrics and the sizing. There is a link down below in the description which can be used by you if you are making any purchases just to show your appreciation for this video. If you have any questions about the sizing or any of the products, hit me up down below. If you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Throughout this video, I am wearing size small on my top half and size extra small on the bottom half. The full season two Nikki Blackout range runs true to size. So you can buy your usual sizing from Gymshark in this range. This first outfit consists of the effortless hoodie, the dynamic leggings, and underneath you'll see that I am wearing the cross back bra. First of all, going through some of the details on the effortless hoodie. This is in the marl vanilla color. You may not be able to tell from the video, but this fabric is just super soft and there's two tones to the arms. As you can see, there's a marl color on top and then a solid color to the wrists. On the wristband, you can see there's a crossover detail, which also comes into play at the bottom of the cropped hoodie. It's cropped in length, so it does show some of your tummy. At the back, there's this mesh detailing on the bottom half, and then it has an open back feature. Moving on to the dynamic legging and the cross back bra. Now these may look slightly familiar to the previous Nikki Blackheader range, but to me, there have been improvements made in all the items in this range. The dynamic legging, as you'll see, comes in a number of different colors. I'm just showing you the length of these leggings. I'm five foot one, and these come down just below the ankle. I tend to just pull them up and roll them inwards when they're a little bit long, but for someone who's a little bit taller, there definitely is that extra leg length there. The most notable detailing on these leggings is the waist. This waist makes anyone look like they have a tiny, tiny waist. As you can see, it has this crisscross detail on the front. It has the same super soft fabric that is in the hoodies. It's just so soft to touch. We also have the detailing of a pocket here that will hold an iPhone or iPod during your gym sessions. It also has the two-tone color difference, but they're quite complementary. And as you can see, there's the mesh detailing, which elongates the leg down the side here. This is the matching cross back bra. I'm wearing a size small, as I mentioned earlier. The previous Nikki Blackheader range bras were lower cut, and unfortunately I could not wear them because they just didn't give me enough support and coverage. But they've improved this in the second line, giving more support and more coverage. Anyone who has a smaller bust, this will give you that cleavage that you want. As you can see, there is the mesh detailing again on the back up here. A lot of the items that I'm wearing today have already been washed and tumble dried. And as you can see, the reflective markings are still in place. They have not budged. So I feel these will withstand some good laundering. My second outfit is all coral everything. I've changed things up with this outfit and I am wearing the cropped surface hoodie. Now this differs from the effortless hoodie because it does not have the same open back detailing and the mesh panel instead of being at the back of the hoodie is actually on the shoulders. The fabric in this is slightly heavier as well. In the effortless hoodie, the fabric is more in line with the fabric in the leggings and is a slightly lighter material, whereas this feels like a heavier material. I feel that the crop is a little bit shorter on this hoodie as well, showing a little bit more of the tummy. The cuffs have the same material as the actual hoodie, so it's not differentiating in material here crop surface hoodie comes in four different color shades matching all of the leggings and the cross back bras. A 
Again, the dynamic leggings consist of the two-tone color with the detailing of the mesh going down the sides. I know for a fact that all of the Nikki B leggings are 100% squat proof, but just to prove to you guys, I'll do the squat test. Outfit number three consists of the drop back crop top. As you can see, it has a similar open back to the cross back bra. It has the detailing on the cuffs with the thumb holes out. It has the same as the effortless hoodie, the two tone detailing, and it's very subtle. It has this nice seam down the front that just adds a little bit of extra detailing, a nice high neck, and again, the fabric is super, super soft. This is probably one of my favorite items out of the entire range. And it comes in four colors. It comes in this marl gray, a marl black, a duck egg blue, and a blush pink. So if you are looking for this, I'd snap it up. Underneath, I am again wearing the cross black bra and the dynamic leggings in black. The dynamic black leggings have the two-tone detailing. And this outfit was in fact one of the most popular color choices at the pop-up shop. So if this is what you want, get it in your basket straight away. If you aren't sure about your size, get two sizes and return the one that does not fit. Gymshark offer free returns now on all orders. Again, this set has gone through the laundry and has been washed and tumble dried. They do not recommend tumble drying, but I put it through the tumble dryer and it is still perfectly intact with all the labels still visible. This last outfit is the signature piece from the Nikki Blackletter line. Everyone knows that Nikki loves pineapples. So what better than to blow up a pineapple print and put it into the material of the range. The cross back bra and dynamic leggings are the exact same fit and style, except they have the print up top. One thing I love about the print is that you can mix and match the print top and the print leggings with different leggings and tops. For example, at the pop-up shop on the first day, I wore the print leggings with the coral bra. And on the second day, I wore the print top teams with the khaki green leggings. I can't stress enough how flattering the waistband of these leggings are. They just make everyone look tiny around the waist. I hope you enjoyed my try on. Of course, it isn't the full range. There are a number of items I didn't get to show you guys today, but just to take you through a number of my favorites that I didn't get my hands on. There is the plunge bodysuit. The bodysuit comes in three colors. It comes in a khaki green, a black, and a blush pink. It also comes in the classic print. Again, these run true to size, so if you are a size small on top, I would go for that size. They have a thong back, so they aren't gonna give you that VPL. They have a sheer panel running down the side. The boyfriend jogger comes in three colors. So we have it in a vanilla color, a khaki color, and the marl gray color. I would size up for these. If you normally wear an extra small, take it up to a size small, especially if you want that relaxed boyfriend look. Also coming on sale is going to be the twist back vest. This comes in a two-tone material, a high neck mesh detailing on the front and then a twist on the back. It will be coming in three colors, in a marl black, a khaki green and a blue. The other item that I missed out on that I would love to get my hands on is the bomber jacket. It comes in two colors, in the olive green and the black. There are so many items on offer through the Nikki B line. I hope you can get your hands on some of them. I hope you enjoyed my video and my review. Again, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you're planning on buying anything and you found this review helpful, please show your love and use my link that's in the description box. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Cause if I only had a hundred fans I'd take them all to dinner Talk about the people that we used to be If I had a hundred fans Fly them all to Paris Ain't nobody paying I'd be buying the drinks And we would cloudy And we would dance And we would throw up all them hands Until they turn to clouds Yeah, I got you now If I only had a hundred fans Life's too short to be an asshole